Late this afternoon, Tulane announced the largest single gift in the history of the university. Yeah, the, uh, this woman's lifetime support led Tulane to name the public health school the School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine. It's a mouthful. Yeah. It's now named after the donor. Yeah, Paul Murphy reports on the big announcement and how the money is a game changer when it comes to research and improving health outcomes. The name of Tulane University School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine will now include the name Celia Scott Weatherhead. Wednesday, Tulane announced the Cleveland-based philanthropist and Newcomb graduate has now pledged $160 million to the university. This includes a new gift to help fund population health programs and research at the school's downtown campus. Celia's gift will establish the School of Public Health as one of the top programs in the world. They will have a monumental real world impact improving and saving lives both here in Louisiana and across the globe. Mrs. Weatherhead was at the announcement event but declined to make any comments. She said in a written statement, I am thrilled to support the university's goals and long term strategy for educating public health professionals, empowering groundbreaking research and building a healthier world, starting with the city of New Orleans, but aiming for global results. Celia Scott Weatherhead's gift is awe-inspiring because of the magnitude of what it will do. Weatherhead's contribution will provide seed funding for research in areas such as cancer control, climate change, health equity, and the use of artificial intelligence to study population health. University officials said the money would also be used to increase scholarships and attract leading experts to the school. Celia Scott Weatherhead has been an engaged, devoted, beloved alumnus of Tulane. Has she and her late husband, Albert, have supported this institution across the university. Tulane officials did not disclose the exact dollar amount of Mrs. Weatherhead's latest contribution to the university, but said it will impact the school across the board going forward. This is a great day for Tulane University, but let me also underscore it's a great day for New Orleans and Louisiana um, and health outcomes uh, in this in this region. Uh, we've got to do better. In downtown New Orleans, Paul Murphy, WWL, Louisiana. Well, the newly named school will be the first at the university named for a graduate of Tulane University's Newcomb College.